Good morning, everybody. I am just getting everything set up for some chalk and coffee. And actually, we're inking and in coffee. So I will be here in two shakes of a lamb's tail. I'm getting everything set. Here we go. There we go. So you should be able to see what's going on. I have a new setup, so I'm a little bit, um, this is going to be a new experience for me today. Totally, totally new and exciting, of course, very exciting, but, um, you know, this, we're going to do a pillow. So one of our big pillows, I need to grab all my squeegees because those were kind of out from last night. So hi Nikki, hi Kelly, good morning. So here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I have my Saturday sweatshirt on so I need to like roll up the sleeves because they're so raggedy. Um, we're gonna do the buffalo plaid on the pillow. And then we're going to use this really awesome set called We Belong Together. It has just different words and some different fonts. And so we're going to do um, We Belong and then Together on the bottom corner of our pillow. And I'm very, very excited about that. And I'm using my Chalk Couture Cup for my coffee, yum yum. Okay, so let's get set up with the pillow cover and the ink mat on the inside. So these just unzip, they're awesome. This is gonna be my third pillow that I've designed. And I'm going to use, so you kind of have to fold it or roll it to get it in, and then it, you unroll it and it fits inside of here perfectly. I'm just going to move it into the corners and unroll it and flatten it out. And it's awesome. So then you go from the inside out see my raggedy oh my gosh I was gonna change my sweatshirt but I forgot I wasn't quite I wasn't quite sure what I was doing this morning um, the boys left to do some take your child to work day stuff gotta see a little bit of my flowers okay so here we go and this is all set. All I have to do is grab my, uh, my buffalo plaid. This is probably one of our most versatile transfers because it's just a background, but it could be the whole thing. I mean, if you use the um, the decor theme with the plaid. I know it's so popular right now. Um, it's fun to change it up. But we're going to do we're going to do a um, copper and so my buffalo plaid is actually going to be copper on the pillow for the background. And that's going to be a little shimmer. It's going to be gorgeous. I am curious if people are on because I'm not seeing anything. So maybe I need to go on another device just to check it out. You know, tech is always throwing me for a loop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
All right, so I'm just checking. All right, so we're going to do copper. And then I was thinking black, but I could also do like a navy. Um, so I'll grab my navy too. And look, I'm like shaking my... So we've got like this midnight blue or black. We'll look after we see the copper, we'll kind of make our decision on what we're going to do there. So um, with such a large transfer, I really suggest flipping it over and peeling the backing off first. And here's why. You don't want your transfer to flip onto itself and get stuck. It could totally ruin it and you would cry. I would cry for you. Just not good. All right, I need to back this up slightly. There we go. And why did I just stick that there? I have the sticky side showing. Okay, so, oh geez, so I just flipped this corner over. I know I need to move this. There we go. So I'm going to carefully flip this over so that I can carefully lay this on my pillow and it's pretty much going to be centered, okay, because it's pretty much the same size as your pillow. And there are, I'm probably not going to go all the way to the edges. You know how your pillow, um, you know, it's kind of rounded and so people are going to see the front and these side pieces. It's just going to end right where it is. So main thing I have to do right now is get this stuck down. So that's what I'm doing. And it's really important to get all of the, the sticky parts stuck, especially in something like this, because there's so much screen, like this is all open screen, this is striped, and we want to have good edges. So all I'm doing getting this stuck down as best as I can. I'm gonna have to be really careful when I'm doing this bottom part, but hopefully everything, okay, everything will go. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Melissa. Okay, so we have our um, buffalo plaid. I need a sip of coffee before I begin. Okie dokie. Now, like I said, we're going to do copper, so I'm going to open this and set it over here. Now, when we're using our inks, I know I've said this many, many times. Ah, I need to tell them how about this washcloth. Okay, when we're using our inks, they act a little differently than the um, chalks and... I'm thinking I'm going to use this. Do I want the handle or no handle? I think no handle. I feel like I can, okay, do it a little better. So I can go slower and I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff um, actually drying out. And then the other thing that I can do, and I just... I have to be careful there. Um, I can do different parts at one time. Like I can do this over here because I know the edges are going to be a little bit difficult. And I already went off my edge because I wasn't paying attention. But have no fear. I think I can clean it up if I work fast. And actually, one of the wipes might be easier Get on your finger. If I roll this back, and it'll 
blend in, so I'm not too worried about that little spot. Um, but I don't want it to continue. Okay, should be good for now. Um, then what I'm going to do is take this little squeegee that fits in there, and I'm just going to put, start dropping this ink into like puddles of right where it's about to start um, on these lines and then up here I'm just gonna because like I said this I'm gonna go the other way it's a little bit harder to do at the edge so I'm just gonna try to get those edges done with my little squeegee and then move on to my big squeegee. Probably need more. I'm just gonna drop on, do you see how I'm dropping it onto the vinyl? I am not putting it anywhere that there is a um, Okay, this is so that let's get this going so that there's it's not sitting on an open spot and like moving because it's a little more fluid than our chalk. Our chalk isn't very fluid, it just kind of sits there, and our chalk sits on top of your surface. Your chalk doesn't soak in, I mean, a tiny bit to fabric maybe, but this ink uh, soaks in. I really am hearing part of it move, which scares me a lot. Now you can go different directions. You don't have to go completely, you know, up and down. And I'm trying to move the ink as best I can from the areas where there's a lot and get all the good coverage. This part, I'm going to need my little one to get those little lines there. Looks good. Make sure that's good because this was a part that was like... I could hear the bubbles. So what I need to do is take a minute to re-press this down because I can see that as I'm moving, this is moving and it's kind of like bubbling up. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about it drying so much because it really doesn't dry fast. Um, I just got my squeegee dirty and you don't want your squeegee dirty because you don't want your hands to get ink on them. Alright, so we need some more ink and I think I will try to finish this square that looked like it had a little bubble with my little one because I have more control so that's why I do that and this one too and then I think I'll go back to what I was doing before dip a bunch and set it here so that I can this is a lot of there's a lot of coverage on this there I mean there's a lot of screen so there, I'm using a lot of ink I'm still not happy over here. Let's see if I can move that that way. I might just have to finish this little area right here with my little one because that big one really um, catches the 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 transfer because it can move it. Hi Heather. Hello Larissa. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys 
are having a great Saturday morning. I know that I was happy because I got to wake up without an alarm clock. Who doesn't love that? We had a long week. I haven't, hold on, I've got a guest. Easton. You made something? What did this you make? Name is Triple Jones. Triple Jones. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. That's my Eastie. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's my only guy. My girls, as far as I know, are still sleeping. That's just a teenager's life, I tell you what. Usually, Emma will be up by now, but not Cassie. Okay, I've got lots of extra, which is going back into my container. Lots of that. And I'm going to keep on, I'm going to hold it and try to get this bottom part. I may have to come back with my uh, little one just to get in these little nooks and crannies here because I can see slightly some spots that don't quite have it, what we need. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm almost done, and then I can reveal the buffalo plaid in the copper. And then we will um, try to do a tiny, tiny bit of drying. It's not imperative that every single bit of this gets dry. Uh, because the words that I'm doing are just going to be in the this bottom corner. All right, I think I'm good. I'm going to close up my ink. And I'm going to peel. I should have some coffee before I peel. I'm a little nervous. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I, I see a little, with the ink, it's hard to see those stripes. Um, let me grab another squeegee. I need to do a little recon over here. Hold on. Let's see. As I pull, I'm just gonna kind of look to see that it looks good. There's a little. There we go. I, I can't see on top of it, so it's kind of hard. And if this is a distressed looking pillow, I think I'm gonna be fine with that. I can see right here. It's cool that you can do this though, so that you don't just peel it all the way off. And as you peel it all the way off, then you're like, a few parts are a little janky. Let me go back. So this is a, Kind of an intricate job, I guess. Oh, my fingers are getting full of ink. This is going to be a distressed looking pillow, buffalo plaid, which is totally fine by me. I've decided. Sweet. It looks actually very cool. And I'm going to put my transfer into the water real quick so that I can get most of it cleaned without too, too much staining. So I'm just putting in my water bath. I think what I see in front of me is, a, is like slightly different than what you guys see on the camera also. 
because it's a lot smoother where I'm looking and it looks like the little lines and the um, what do you call it just like the distressed look that you guys are seeing is slightly um, over overproduced overshown because it looks darker like the lines look darker these lines are a lot lighter than what you're what I'm seeing on the camera so uh, okay now what we're gonna do is make sure we don't have any ink over here I've got a lot of ink spilled okay not spilled but like sitting over here and I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm gonna dry this bottom corner area where I actually am hi Rachel actually I'm going to put my words so it's gonna look really cool distressed but I want to do a little bit of drying in this corner because we're gonna do we belong together and so it's like a sweet little family saying so you could put this on your you know you could put it on your couch or you could put it on your bed whatever you want and I feel like I'm probably gonna set it up a few rows so that it doesn't okay this whole row is super super strong okay um, now all I have to do so these are our words they're um, lots and lots of words so I just have to get the we belong together I love this little font here the brush stroke font we have quite a few new transfers with that brush stroke font I absolutely love it and I know the pillow is not totally dry it will dry um, without much effort here in a bit since I have to pull this transfer out and get the words I actually have ink on me which I didn't know on my hand that's very shimmery this is very shimmery ink and my scissors oh goodness I thought I was gonna have to lose them okay so just kind of I'm off the scene just kind of cutting out the transfer and this is kind of a big project I'm just gonna tell you so we have the together, so we'll use that, and then we belong, and I just need to cut this kind of in half to get to the belong. So if you ever have the transfers that have these little lines in between images or words, you can see those lines, those are cut lines. And that's so that you can cut a straight line. Um, it's a good place to make the cut because it's got enough transfer around the image or the letter or whatever you're cutting out. So that if you were to go outside the lines of the word, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. So this is really cool. There are words like I am yours and you are mine. Uh, it says every day, love, me, you, I, with, made, fall, still. Like I still fall for you every day. That's one of them that um, you could do with this. But this is kind of, it can be family or it can be okay I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this knowing that there's a curve so I feel like not on so maybe we belong together 
down here. We belong together and leave this row and this row open. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, one more quick dry. We belong together. Actually, the together is going to be a little taller. So maybe together needs to go here, belong needs to go there, and we belongs. Okay, I've got it figured out, guys. Oh, for sure, Rachel. Let me explain all the videos I've seen using Cricut Easy Press. They just do 30 seconds. You are correct. Um, so your four minutes total. The reason why, so an iron has a hot spot in the iron, and it, by whatever the word is, creates um, the the section of the iron, it gets hot, but there's one main hot spot. And so you do have to move it around for the four minutes on each side. So you're not just holding it there for four minutes. You're going to move it um, so that you're kind of covering the whole area for four minutes. It's at a medium cotton temperature. So like not at your highest because truly you could um, scorch it. Um, it's just that the easy press is everything gets hot and it's setting there at a high temperature for a shorter amount of time, I believe. And that's what I have actually. So, um, okay, so here's this. And I do think I'm gonna go with the black, which was my original plan. And everything is kind of distressed here on my background, so this will really pop. That's my thought process on using the black. We belong together. I got it. And it's it's kind of like if you've ever done an iron on, like a vinyl iron on or anything like that, you have to do it for a certain amount of time. You you do push down on one spot at a time and then you move it, but the 4 minutes There's my wee. Oh, whoops. My cap somehow got in my water. And then we're going to do belong. So the we and the belong, the fonts are um, the same. And then the together is fancy brush script, which I love. I'm going to dry this slightly just in case the transfer comes up and pulls. So your transfer, when it sticks down, hi, Kathy when it sticks down to your ink actually um, doesn't totally pull it up because that ink is absorbed into the fabric. So it just kind of, um, some of it, if it's not dry on the top, could definitely pull up, but you really, really don't notice. It's actually so much easier and nicer to use. So I want to try to get that lined up. I think it's a little bit too close to the top. So hold on just a second. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. I think that looks good. We'll just start putting on our ink. And when you go over like a layer, a double layer of ink, I try to put it on a little thicker, so I'm, I'm probably gonna go over it more than one time, like I did with the Wii. It looks really nice and covered the way it is right now, but then um, 
you'll see that you might want to do a second layer. So I'm just going to kind of do a second layer, then go back and smooth it out, scrape off the excess, put that back into my container, and I should be good to go for this one. That looks awesome. Okay, clean this one off. So the black ink does stain your transfer a little bit more so than um, other colors. Um, so I just like to try to wash it right away in this water because it will come off with the water. But if the longer you let it set, the um, longer or the more it will stain. Just like anything, probably. Okay, so we belong, and then I'll show you. Push this up a little bit so we can see the together. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's dry this as much as we can. And remember, my ink mat's still in there. Hi, Julie, good morning, happy Saturday. So this is my first live in a long time, I think since Monday, because we had, I had meetings all night Tuesday and a training, and then Saturday we had, or Wednesday, I don't know my days of the week, Wednesday we had parent-teacher conferences, Thursday we had parent-teacher conferences, and um, goodness, last night I had chalk night at my house so we had fun lots of ladies came over and made lots of decor for themselves and for gifts so fun okay so here we go I'm excited I think this is gonna look really really great once it's all said and done my um, like my vision is going to be complete Just getting this black such a nice sharp color the black is again I think I'm gonna try to go over it Ooh, I got really close to the edge there. Try to go over it a second time. And then we'll scrape it away. Put the excess back in here in our little container. We got lots of extra. Uh-oh, what happened? Goodness. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this is a distressed brush font. So you will see little bits of pieces that are not black because of the distress, like that little T and the H. Oh, it looks really good. I'm gonna dry it a little bit. I'm gonna pull out the ink mat, and then what we do is dry it some more because you want it completely dried before you um, press it, before you um, iron it, or before you use your heat press. So I'm gonna dry it to the touch with my little dryer here. Um, I'm gonna throw this in the water. Close this up so I don't get it all over me. Goodness. Am I frozen? Why is this not working? Oh my goodness. I hope not. Okay, so here I'm drying this whole corner. Yeah.
Yeah, this is called Buffalo Plaid, and it is a, it's like an 18 by 18 transfer. So it can cover this pillow, and I also did it on one of my boards. This was using chalk, so that's totally different. Any questions about using the ink, what to do, how to use it, who wants to try it? It's actually a lot easier, I think, than our chalk, for real. I do. Okay. So this is pretty dry. I'm going to take out the ink mat. So let's do that. To peel this up because it's sticky. Our ink mats are sticky. And I'm kind of rolling it on the inside so that I can remove it. There we go. So I'm pulling it out. It has our nice Chalk Couture logo. Setting this on the side. And then I will wash that because some ink does get down on it. Um, I will wash it with, um, I'll take it right to the sink. And then we'll do cool water. Never uh, hot water. We'll do cool water and it should... Um, totally come clean. I just use my hands. Yeah, so now that this there's a little airflow in there, this should be good and I can do the I can heat press it and stuff it with a pillow form or a pillow. Here. This feels pretty dry down here. Um, what we're going to do is put parchment paper. I'm going to put a little ironing mat and I will use my, my heat press at about 300, 315 degrees and I will do it for 30 minutes on each, or 30 seconds. Oh, good gravy. Not 30 minutes on each side. I'll just show you a little bit of that. Um, you have to take your mat out of, you have to take your ink mat out before you do this. So my parchment paper will go down. I'll do this part for you. And I'm going to put my mat on the, and it doesn't matter. Um, down here to kind of protect my surface and then um, it's heating up so you'll be able to see. Take a sip of your coffee. It's still warm a little bit. I shouldn't put it over there. So the heat gun, so that's a really good question, Rachel, because I actually did this last night. What I have found when I use the ink on a chalkboard or a wood board or, you know, something that I'm not going to put in my oven, what I do is I do use, this is a craft heater, okay, and it does get really hot. I do dry it. I love the copper too, Nikki. Thank you. Um, I do dry it all the way with this and I do try to heat it up a bit so that it will, um, uh, in my head, it will set a little bit better. I don't think it gets completely permanent. I do, I'll show you, I made this, this is not, I did do it on our chalkboard, but I didn't make it permanent. So I made this. The black and the um, silver are both ink because I wanted to see how it worked on another kind of a board. So 
I um, did try to heat set it with this. If I wanted to, I could scratch this off, but what I did last night, a bunch of the girls were using the Silver Sparkle, and all we did after it was done is we sprayed it with the clear seal, the clear sealant, to make it permanent, and then it won't scratch off, it won't flake off, anything like that. This one I never did seal, but it's dry, it's not tacky at all, and I think that's what the heat, using your heat gun does. Some people felt like it remained tacky, but mine didn't. So I, I you can definitely use ink on your boards, 100%. The sparkle is totally worth it. I love sparkle. Okay, so my, um, my heat press is ready. I'm just gonna set it on here and put some pressure and we're going for 30 seconds. And then um, we just do this for the whole pillow. You have to move it around. You hold it still for 30 and then you move it. And then you move it and then you move it. And then we do inside and outside. So that's pretty cool. It works really great. Good morning, Susanna. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so now I'm going to move it over here, and some of it may get a little more. Um, this is my coffee mug that I made. It says, um, I don't do mornings, and it has a little rooster on it, which I almost said turkey. I forgot to set my timer. Shoot. Oops-a-daisy. And anyway... So I use the Couture Teal ink on this cup, and then after it's completely dry, in fact, I set it out for 24 hours to make sure it was totally dry, you put it in your oven, then you turn your oven on to, three, or to 350 degrees, and you leave it in the oven while it warms up, and then you also, well, while it's heating up, you know what I'm talking about, while it preheats. And then you leave, you set your timer for 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes is a general rule. It could be anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes depending on your oven. Ovens bake at different um, like times and temperatures. They're not all... Um, like the same. So uh, try it and see how it works for you. And then you let it cool. You turn off, hi Becky, you turn off your oven. I forgot to set the timer again. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to guess at 30 seconds. Um, then you turn off your oven and you let it cool down with the oven. I literally forgot mine was in there because I let it cool down. And so my husband preheat the oven again. And so my cup actually went through a preheat, a bake, a cool down, and another preheat. So when he pulled it out, um, it's funny because we didn't haven't been using our oven. And I did it and I forgot about it. Okay. So here we go. It's our last section to do. Uh, but it worked. I took my fingernail and I scratched at my rooster and it did not budge. It didn't flake off. It didn't do anything. They are dishwasher safe. As long as everything was done correctly, they're dishwasher safe and it won't come off. I will say this though. I have seen and heard from people who, oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be so awesome. It's going to be really, really cute. Oh, it feels so nice. That's what I love about our ink is it really soaks in and really becomes one with the fabric. It's not sitting on top. You don't feel it really. So then to really, really heat set this, I'm going to 
flip it inside out and I'm gonna do that again. But I know that's pretty boring for you guys to watch, so I won't make you look at it. But that's, that's what we're doing. Um, you can do this on t-shirts, you can do it on sweatshirts, you can do it on towels. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen some of my other videos. You can do it on fabric bags, makeup bags, um, canvas bags, you know, any kind of fabric that will take the ink. The only fabric that I am not sure would work, and I and only because of the heat setting part, is like a dry fit. I don't know if you can heat set and iron the dry fit material. There might be some like, I don't know if you guys know that I should research that, but I'm not sure that would work. Thank you so much. Placemats, yes, placemats, napkins. If you have dinner parties, I know we always host Thanksgiving, so making like really cute napkins that say something like grateful or you know, something really sweet for Thanksgiving would be a nice touch because this, they are a machine washable. I have made a couple shirts and they're, they're machine washable and it works very well. As long as you follow the directions and if you are one of my locals and you come to one of my chalk nights, we can play with ink. You can use my heat press and, um, I have been doing recently my son or I've been doing like um, sports shirts and putting our names on the back which is really awesome so the possibilities are so endless with this thank you everybody for watching if you have any more questions that I'm not seeing just type them in the comments and I will go in and I will answer those for you make sure you are in my group and that you subscribe to my page and I will see you on our next live.